the answer to almost every question there is about bats is, I don't know, uh, we, there are, there's so much to learn. The most common way to catch a bat though is to stretch a mist net across usually a water body. When the bats come out first thing in the, in the evening, they one of the first things they want to do because they've been sitting uh, roosting all day long, they want to go get a drink. Unfortunately, bats are, are sadly fairly neglected in, uh, in a lot of the work that we do because for one thing, they're easy to uh, forget about. We don't see them very often. With the Central Washington University students that we had here to uh, help them learn a little bit more about bats and learn about to their role in, in the functioning of the ecology of the menhow. When bats are flying, their heart rates, when they're foraging, it's usually about 1,200 beats per minute. After they feed for a while in the air and catch insects, they often sit down and, and just rest for a little while. Then their heart rate falls pretty rapidly to two, two to 250 beats per minute. So just hold, just hold this right here. That was a California myotis, so, so one of the key features of that bat is uh, the weight. That bat weighs four grams, and then we m measure the length of the forearm. Okay, so 30, uh, we'll, we'll call it 34. And finally, there's a little tiny membrane or extension on a structure on the foot called, a, called the calcar. The calcar helps make the tail membrane stiff so they can catch insects with the tail membrane. This right here, is the keel on a cow car. So if we can see that on the bat, then that makes it easy to determine which bat it is.